Keith Guernsey uh, catching, as I mentioned, an old work colleague of mine. As a matter of fact, Steve, something very few people uh, know from uh, that company, but he was the uh, first person to interview me there at, uh, at that company when I applied for a position, and uh, they hired me anyway. So here's Dave Valenti. Grounds one down to short, and it goes through the legs of Bend into left field for a base hit. Donaldson up with it. Obviously a hard hit ball uh, by uh, Dave Valenti. Still, I think it's going to be officially ruled an error by Ben, who's played a very fine game at shortstop. Just a tough fielding play, and he came up a little bit too quick on it. All right, here's John Healy. Second base when he shoots this one up the middle. Base hit. Picked up there by Donnelly. It's cut off nicely by Bent, and now they got a rundown going here. And it, Healy is out trying to get back to first base. I'll tell you, Healy knew he was caught, got himself in a pickle, tried to arrange for Valente to uh, score while they got him in a pickle, but it was a very, very quick play by Shattuck. Excellent defensive playing by Rich Stanton and John Rosakis. Well, it was Bent that cut the ball off, and uh, might say he redeemed himself from, from that previous play. Yes, indeed, I'd say so, too. <laughs> and I'm sure Rich Stanton is pleased I'm giving him credit. <laughs> Joe Callahan, the pitcher, is up. And Callahan lost a high fly ball, shallow right field, and that's going to drop for a base hit. It'll score a run. Right in between Danton and Mike Bevan. It's a 210 pound can of corn, but no one can just get to it, and it's going to be scored, obviously, as a base hit. Sometimes you're so aware that some guy could hit the ball hard and deep that you're playing back a little too deep, and uh, that's what happened there. Strike call to Mike Chavs. Ground ball down to short. Bent has some trouble with it, and he will make no play out of it. Again, once again, a tough fielding play, obviously, uh, with the, the plate so close to the bases, a little smaller than what most people may be used to in baseball terms. You're going to have to play up a little bit closer, and a hard hit ball like that's going to give a guy a lot of trouble. So how do you score that? Another error? E6. I think you Ground ball to. right back to the box. Throw to third to get the force. Heads up play there by Tom McQuesten. He wasted no time at all in just firing that ball right over there to nail Callahan. Uh, I'll tell you, McQu um, McQuesten made an excellent play. And again, we're not uh, picking on Ben here. He's having, uh, he's played a very good game at shortstop. And that ball was fouled out of play and almost hit our camera on top of the truck on the third base side. <laughs> Larry McCabe was saying a few prayers. She did a very nice job of sticking in there, though, didn't she? <laughs> a trooper. There's Larry waving to the audience at home. There's a line shot down the left field line. Hustling in for it is Sullivan. He can't get to it, but it's just about a foot foul. Kenny Wilson, the leadoff hitter. What an exciting ball player he is for this team, this ADP team the right fielder and he's he's created a lot of excitement he scored uh, scored a run had a double in the first inning <laughs> and he shoots one into left center field base hit Donaldson is up with it they will hold the runners and the bases are now loaded up for Rick McGarry and I'll tell you they very very wisely held the ball up Donaldson's got a good arm I knew he was in good position to make a play at the plate. Of course, there are two outs here. Rich McCurry, the batter. McCurry has singled and scored a run. Rips one into the hole and into left field. Base hit. It'll score at least one. And now Hypolite comes around to score. So two more runs come in, and the score is now nine to three. 
Kenny Wilson to third, and Rich McCurry advanced to second on the throw to third base that tried to nip McCurry. McGarry has had a, a big game. Phillips shoots this one off to the right side, not a play. He singled and got to third in the fifth inning. ADP is playing like a powerhouse today, Steve. They are, they haven't let up. They've been in control virtually the whole way. They were trailing three to two in the third inning, but came right back with three runs in their last half of the third. Here's the pitch to Phillips. Ground ball down to third, picked up there by Bob Rosagas. Over to John Rosagas, and he drops the ball. So it's now 10 to 3. And Shattuck's coming apart a bit here in the bottom of the sixth. That was just one of those plays where John Rosagas, easy play, grabbed the ball, looked up, dropped it. It's the type of play you'd like to have back, obviously. And Steve McGarry shoots one into center field. That's going to score another run. And now coming home, here's the throw at the plate. He is out of there. <laughs> but not before another run crossed the plate. So five big runs for ADP in the last of the six. They did it on only five hits. There were three Shattuck errors, and they leave one man on base. So as we go to the seventh inning, the score is ADP 11 and Shattuck's three. And we'll be right back with the seventh inning and possibly the conclusion of tonight's game in just a moment. Action here at Hurd Field. Sean Sullivan here. Trying to get something going here for Shattuck's in the top of the seventh inning. Two and one count now to Sullivan. Ground ball, Hypolite up with it. He's got to make the strong throw, and he gets him by a half a step. Hypolite with a nice strong throw to Denny Davis. Oh, he juggled the ball, and then he came up firing an impressive play. Chuck Donnelly, the uh, second hitter from this inning for Shattuck, there's some very interesting point here we ought to make is, is that the Shattuck players have only batted around three times in this ball game. Well, Joe Callahan is there's a pop up to shortstop and Hypolite is gonna make the catch and there's two down. And did he call off uh, Valenti like a pro or what? <laughs> it's mine. It's he looked, he looked, very early. He looks sharp out there, but Callahan has retired the last 12 batters he's faced. And there's a fly ball to left center field. Coming on is Rick McGarry. He makes the catch to end the ball game. So Shattuck's go one, two, three again in the seventh inning. And after uh, the third inning, Bob, Shattuck's just uh, did not produce anything offensively. They went down in order the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh innings. Well, I think I mentioned it earlier, Steve, and I think it really is true. Shattuck just played a very, or uh, I should say ADP played a very intelligent game. Shattuck played well, had a couple rough innings defensively, obviously the seventh inning being one of them. But the pitcher, Joe Callahan, did such a great job of getting the ball up and in and around the corners. We saw an awful lot of fly outs and easy line drives. Right, as if we look down the totals here, uh, Joe Callahan pitched a four-hitter which uh, in softball is almost unheard of, but uh, he did it here tonight. Uh, as the totals for ADP, they had 11 runs on 15 hits, did not make any errors, and stranded five. While Shaddix produced three runs on only four hits, they committed four errors and left three men on base. So uh, a big win for ADP as they uh, continue to challenge for a playoff spot. The one guy I really want to focus on for just one moment from ADP is Kenny Wilson, the right fielder. Scored three runs in this ball game, a very exciting player, very impressive player. It was an awful lot of fun to watch him play. 
Roger Hypolite, as soon as he got to the game, he, he missed the, uh, the first inning or so, but played very impressively out in the field at shortstop, made that strong throw in the last inning, and uh, had a single in the second inning, which was very important for ADP. Good game all the way around. Steve McCary with a home run. Dave Valenti with a home run. Steve McGarry, I should say. I've been uh, playing games with his names all day long, and I'm sorry, Steve. Sorry, uh, Richard McGarry, too. Very, uh, very effective game for ADP. They've got to be very impressed. It's a very important game for them as they're fighting. Both of these teams were fighting for one of the final playoff spots, Steve. Well, they, they got 11 runs, and in softball, when you get 11 runs, uh, <laughs> that should be enough to to win a game and defensively they played very well and held Shattuck to only three runs and really came away easily with the victory. Very impressive win. ADP's got to be very happy. All right, so they may be uh, maybe qualifying for postseason play very soon. Uh, you'll have to come down to the fields and check out the last couple weeks of action to see who actually will make the playoffs. But that's all the time we have for now. Bob Kimball and Steve Richards here from Heard Field saying so long, and we will see you tomorrow night once again here on Channel 9. That's Thursday, July 17th at 7.30, uh, as the Commandos will be taking on Richie's Automotive Repair. So for now, we're saying so long from Heard Field. This has been an Arlington Cable System Sports presentation.